Hey everyone, it's Cole from the Duke Stone Music Shop, and today we are checking out the TC Electronic Mimic Mini. The Mimic Mini is a smaller version of the Mimic, which is a doubler pedal. There are less options on this one, but it's still a really cool pedal. The Mimic Mini is a perfect pedal if you're looking for a doubler sound, and also if you've got a small pedal board and have limited space. So, let's check out the sound of this pedal. I have everything roughly at 12 o'clock right now, and we're going to hear how it sounds. There's three functions. There's dry, which is the level of your guitar sound coming in. Effect, which is the sound of the doubled effect. Then there's tightness, which is how tight, essentially, the double is. So let's check this out. This is everything at almost 12. <laughs> Let's turn it off so you can hear just what it's doing to the sound. You hear how much bigger it sounds in water? Now tightness is the speed of the doubling. So when you have the tightness on zero or one, it's as fast as it can be. And then as you turn up more, there's more space in the recording. You hear more of that doubled sound. When it's just on one, it kind of sounds more like a chorus sound. So let's check this out. Everything else is on 12 o'clock. So not as much a chorus sound, but more of a flanger, which for those who don't know, the sound effect known as flanger came from tape machines back many years ago when they had the recordings like this. That alone's a pretty cool sound if you ask me. Let's add a little more distortion to it. Now I didn't think I was going to like that sound that much because I don't really like flanger, but in this thing it's pretty cool. And it's pretty cool if you're trying to do some like 80s rock or even some 80s cleaner stuff. So let's just do this. It's almost barely noticeable. Let's take it off just so you can hear without. Pretty cool. Let's now put it to about 9 o'clock. Now I can immediately hear that the flanging sound is kind of going away. Now it's mostly just, you hear a little bit of a separation in there. It sounds like there's two guitars playing at once, which is essentially what is happening. Still a little bit of flanging though. Now when we put it to 9 o'clock here, the flying sound is still there, but you're starting to hear the separate guitar tones coming through. Let's put it halfway up now. This is where the flanging sound kind of disappears in my opinion. You can really hear the two guitar signals. Now we will go to 3 o'clock and now we're going to hear it's going to be even more separated and the tightness that it says it's going to be is a little bit more loose sounding. Now it sounds like a slapback delay more so to me, not even a flange. <laughs> Now the difference is pretty crazy. Without it, with it. Let's add some distortion on it. Now I gotta wait to 
at 10. Now it's basically just a slap back. I love that sound. As much as I was doing some country stuff there with rock, it's super cool. Going into this demo, I'd never used a doubler pedal before, so I didn't know what I was really going to do. I have to say, my expectations have been blown away. It's a really versatile pedal, which I think would be great if you're in a band setting or playing live. It'd help your parts stand out just a little bit more, and I think that'd be awesome to use. For more information on this pedal, visit turnerguitar.com or visit us in the Duke, Alberta. And come say hi to us. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more weekly music content.